welcome back to my youtube tutorial this is avian graph um today we are just going to look at how to design uh, this particular citation and this particular citation is for political citation yes we are doing it for one of uh, the greatest men in, in ghana yes so that is my resource file. this is the file that we are, we are going to use and that is the information that we are going to use here gender constituency mpp executive present citation of hana to what to honorable martin minister for energy mp for uh this particular this particular area uh man here serve you know very you know how he has heard it so today we are just going to look at how to design this particular citation for that particular uh, uh, legend yes so let's just go to our photoshop that is my photoshop today i have changed my interface or let's say my team of my photoshop to be what to be white yes this kind of bright this i love it yes so first of all what we need to do is to what to, to create a new file or a new document for that you get that yes for this particular thing you can use a4 for the citation you can use a3 for the citation you can use 16 by 20 for the citation it depends on how big and or how small you want it so in this particular case i don't want to get too much uh, this thing so we are just going to use what a4 for, for the citation you get that so i'm going to rename the citation citation okay you get that yes and that all my uh, settings will be intact then i have to create you get that yes then i can have it something like this over there that is what i'm just going to do um let me make the this thing black the, that's of a background to be black so that I can actually do what I want to do. So first of all, what I need to do is to come to rectangular market tool over here. Then I'll pick a what a, a ellipse tool over there, and then I'll hold my shift, just draw a perfect circle over there, just like that. Okay. Yes, I can have something like this over there. I love that. Okay. Yes, and I can have something like this over there. And over there, I'm just going to move it to somewhere here, just like that, and then uh mpp colors um let me try using uh what is the name red and then i'll duplicate by ctrl g and then i'll change that one to what white that's mpp colors and that one i'll just move it somewhere here you get that you get that somewhere here like that and then i'll come up with another one which is going to be what blue that's mpp colors okay so always make sure that mpp colors do what it dominates in that particular distance because we are doing it for mpp member you get that yes and that is how we are going to have it uh maybe the arrangement may not be correct but let's just try and do this for the tutorial sake let's just have something like this over there to get that yes and then we can have something like this over there then i'm, I'm just going to try and do what try and uh, have it somewhere like this okay and then over this particular distance i'm going to group it by ctrl g to group it okay and that one i'll call it layer one and then i'll get that particular layer two then i'll bring it somewhere here and when i bring it somewhere here i'm going i'm just going to rotate it 90 clockwise and then i'll flip horizontally so it will do this and then over there too i'm just going to have it somewhere like this and then over this particular place i'm just going to make it somewhere like this over there okay Yes, and I'll let it come somewhere here. Then I'll have something like this. You know, this one looks something funny or something different, but don't worry, we are working on that. So what we need to do again is to come and get a, a tool, another tool, rectangular tool, uh, rectangular tool over here. Then we are just going to draw some rectangle on that particular distance, just like that. Okay. Yes. And on that particular one, we are going to change it to what white ff3 will give you white then we can have something like that over there okay yes and then i, I can see that the, the most of you will not understand over 10 of it so what i will need to do here is that i'm just going to show you uh when you click on edit and you come to preferences then you come to interface that is where you can change the distance to something else so that it can fit on what you really want yes, so that it will be steady over okay yes and that is why we have a hair over there to get that so what we need to do over here is to press ctrl a to select all the distance then i'm just going to sector that particular distance to the sector yes then i can have it just like that over there you get that yes and then the next thing again i have to do over here is that i'm just going to group these things over there 
then I'll call it layer. I'll just call it layers. Okay. Okay. Yes. Layers. And then I'm going to lock it up so that I can move it with that. It cannot move. Okay. That's correct. So the next thing I have to do is to come and pick my tool over here. That's a list tool. Then I'll just draw a circle just like that. Okay. And I'm going to change that circle to what? Uh, let me use blue. Okay. And then I'll have it just like that. Then I'll move that one too. I just duplicate one just like that. And then I'll call it what? White. You get that then i'll have something like this over there too then i'll let it go inner then i'll have what i'll have it red all right okay yes i'll have it red so over this particular case what we need to do is that this out layer should be red the inner and then this one should be what the blue you get that yes then i can have it just like that Okay, then I'll move that one to somewhere here, just like that, and then I'll just have it a little bit small, just like that. Okay, yes, I'll let it be somewhere, uh, somewhere like this over here. Okay, somewhere like that. Okay, so I can have something like this over there. You get it? Yes. Then let me save my work for anything. Anything can happen on the process. Okay. So let me save my work just like that over there yes and the next thing again i have to do over here is that i just want to have some kind of line just like that okay and then what i need to do over here is that i'm giving it this color over there and then i'll duplicate it again then i'll bring it somewhere like this here and then i'll change it to this yes so when i change it to this what i need to do over here is that i'll let it remain white then i'll duplicate another one then that one i'll change it to what red and then i'll move that one to somewhere like this over there okay yes and then i'll just have it like this so over this player i'll bring it somewhere here and i'll just tilt it this way i just want to tilt it this way so that it will cover somewhere here you get that yes to cover somewhere there just like that so i'll hold shift to select all that three layers then i'll group it okay so this one i'll just call it line okay i'll call it line then that one should be somewhere here you get that yes and the next thing again i have to do is to go to my files my resources file where i'm going to import in this particular picture that i'm going to use okay yes so i'll have it i will transform it a little bit it shouldn't be that bigger it should be that small okay and that one should be somewhere here all right then i can have it just like that and then the lines i'll try and move it out just like that okay yes and then this one can so that the red can it can appear small okay yes and then what we really need to do over here is that these two lines uh that one has to enter into the distance so i'll have it just like that and then i'll convert a smart object yes when i convert a smart object that is where i make a clipping mask in then over that particular picture the honorable picture i'll make a clipping mask into that one too it will just be like this okay yes on, on this one i'll try and make some changes to it then it will look just like that okay and then the next thing again i have to do is to come to my resources file where i'm going to open this particular distance over there then i'll copy it the yendi constituency what mpp executive over there and then i'm just going to paste this one over here so what uh, before i do that let me just close up some of my distance so that i can do the pasting without any problem okay yes so let me paste it here and then i paste it just like that okay then i'll move it somewhere like this so let me make some changes to it i'm going to use poppins poppins okay poppins 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 yes i'm going to use poppins uh semi bold poppins and then i'll have it just like that then I'm going to change that color to what to black. 
then I'll move it somewhere here just like that okay I'll have it just like that so the next thing again is to move this one a little bit somewhere just like that okay and then this one I'll try and make it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger okay so that it will appear very very well for people to see you get that yes so I can have it just like that then I save my work and then I'll come and pick the presence over there and then I'm just going to paste that one too I'm just going to paste that one too over there just like that don't worry I'll still make changes to it just like that okay and then um let me lock up this file so that it will when I'm click nothing will happen yes so I'll come and pick citation first I'm picking citation just like that and then I'll have it here citation should be bigger okay should be very very big because this is what is that is talking about everything in this story okay so citation should be bigger I'll make changes to it don't worry and then citation of okay then I'll have something like this copy it and then I'll paste that one to somewhere like that and then I'll try and make some changes just like that over there and that one should somewhere here you get that yes and the next thing again I have to do is to pick the two and then that one too I'm just going to paste that one too somewhere like that okay yes and then I can have that one somewhere like this okay and the next thing again I have to do is to pick the name of the person and then I'll just paste the name here just like that then I'll have it just like that okay over here okay so for this particular this time I'm going to use time a new time roma time new roma over there just like that and that one should be what old yes and then I'm going to copy it another one over here and then I'll just paste it over here okay so let me just zoom it out so that I can do the changes to it this one this one it should be like this and then I'll have it small just like that let me make that changes to it I think this way and then this way okay now I can have it just like that okay so over this particular this one let me see what I need to do over here okay I think everything is okay so I can have it just like that over there and then this one I'll have it just like this over there and then over here I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit just like that okay and then I'll have it just like that over there and then this one follow okay yes and the next thing again I have to do is to pick this tool over here then I'll just draw something like this over here not that big not that small okay and then over that particular this one I'm going to change it to red yes it will just be like a line breaker over there okay line breaker line breaker okay that I can have it just like that and then the next thing again I have to do is to come to my rectangular market tool the, the, rectangular, the, the, the rectangular tool over here then I'll pick the elite tool over here then I'll just draw some kind of circles in here okay and then I'll change that one to what to red then I can have it just like that okay yes as we are going let me go to view then I'll come to new guide then I'll just add 50 percent uh, guide there so that I can sector my work very very well okay so when I move my this now now know that there is a sector you get that yes I can have it just like that and then the next thing again I have to do is to come over and then pick this 
that is the story then i'll just pick my listing i'll click and hold the what the text tool then i'll move it somewhere like this somewhere like that okay and then i can do what i can paste my work there just like that yes i can have it just like that okay you see that it has you know it look, looks so dated so what we need to do over here is to leave this one out leave this one out and then make it small just like that then we come to paragraph let's see sected this is how this sector will be let's use this sector cool you get that yes and the next thing again we have to do is to use the wider auto will make it best for you without any problem so over here too I just want to move my distance a little bit okay then I can have it just like that and then over this particular place I can move it a little bit top yes and then what I really need to do is to check on my what my my paragraph and over the dot over there I'm just going to let it come somewhere here uh, over this plus two too, I'm just going to let it have somewhere like this. Over this place to that is how I just want it to be. Over this place to come on top, you get that. Yes. So let me see. You have this uh, towards the project. So let me see. This one should also come somewhere like this. So paragraph start stop here and over here. Where can I get the full stop again? Full stop again, full stop again. Okay. So I think full stop over here. So that's cool. So we can have something like this over there. And then what I really need to do over here is to reduce my size and uh, the distance a little bit so that it will go just like that. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. So what we need to do over here is to move this one on top so that it will cover only this particular text over there. Okay. Yes. And the next thing again we have to do is to come and pick this tapaya that's in the bunny. Yes. And then I'll pick that one. And then I'm just going to paste it somewhere like this over here. And then I'll do what? I'll increase my size very big. Okay. And then I'll pick thank you okay then I can have something like this over there and then uh, I'll reduce the size just like that over there then I can have it just like this over there so over this two distance let's work around it by changing the color to this okay yes and then I can have something like this over there you get that over this particular distance, the same thing that we are going to change the color to black, to blue, this kind of their yeah, color blue. Okay, then we can have something like this over here. You get that? Yes. And then let me let me group let me group it so that you can understand. Group this one, and then I'll move it somewhere like this over there, just like that. Okay. Then I'll group this one too. Yes. And this one I'll call it text. Text. Okay. Yes. The next thing again we have to do is to check on these particular places. Okay. So this one should come somewhere like this to the middle. And then this one, this one. So let me see the font I'm going to use. I normally have some citation. Oh, it's not there sorry so if I want to use the same romance the time new, the times new romance over here and then we'll use this color over there and that one should be what bold yes that one should be bold then we can have it just like that over there okay and then over this particular this one we are going to make it red and then we will have it just like that and the wideness of the text the wideness of the letters 200 see 
yes two hundred. Let me move it a little bit. Just like that, okay. Then we can have it just like that, and we can go here. You get it. Yes. Yes. So we are just heading towards our everything. So this particular this one too. I'm going to change that one to point towards the time new Roman quarter there, so that the font that will be on this particular this thing is just going to be a uniform. It is going to be what a uniform. Yes. So we can have it this. Okay. So let me check on my names. So I'll try and move this one to the second. Just like that. Alright. Then I can have something like this over there. Yes. Okay. No one will tell you that at the end of this tutorial you are going to learn some tips on this particular thing. Your composition should be nice, it should be in line and very beautiful. Yes. Alright. Then what we need to do over here is that this particular circles over there that I just created. I'm going to duplicate it and when I duplicate it I'm going to bring it somewhere here somewhere like this over there okay you know why I just want my white space to be balanced so I'll have something like this then I'm going to add a shadow to it shadow and this particular shadow I'm going to move it out just like that okay and then over there the contour I'm going to change it to different thing. Let me see which control I use over here. Let me see oh, something like this, something like this, something like this over there. Okay, let me see the control. Okay, this control is okay. So I'm going to reduce the distance a little bit. Like this, like this. All right. Then I will reduce the opacity. Can be too high for me to do this. Yes, I don't want that one to be too high on that. Okay, then I can have it just like that over there, and then I can have it this. Then I'll just copy it, that particular uh, this thing over there, effect there. Then I'll paste it to this place too. Yes, then I can have it just like that. So you get it. So go a little bit. Then I can have it just like this. Okay. Yes. So this is how citation is being designed in Photoshop. You can also design it in different ways, anyhow you want it. But make sure your composition, the 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 the, the, the needed colors that people want should should be able to to appear on your design you get that uh let me just check on the this particular this thing so that it will come out a little bit okay yes then you can have it just like that over there and then this one should go on top a little bit and this one should also follow this one should be selected all right and this one should go up a little bit okay Then you can have it just like that. Yes. So this is how citation is being designed in Photoshop. Thank you very much for watching. This is ABM Graphics and have a nice day. Bye bye.